the special awards presentation. We need the drums or something. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Janedi Villavicencio from Roberto Clemente School Number Eight to please come forward with her family. Jacqueline Cox Cooper, the principal, if she's here, and our commissioner and president, Domingo Garcia, to please step forward. Domingo will read the biography of this wonderful young lady. You know, for once, they made the letters big enough so I don't have my glasses so. <laughs> Uh Gernedi Villavicencio was born on August 11, 1997 in Rochester, New York, to her parents, Ana and Alnedo Villavicencio. She is the youngest of three siblings. Gernedi is the fourth is in the fourth grade at the Roberto Clemente Elementary School number eight. Her teacher is Miss Naomi Baez. Jarenedi is the kind of student that all teachers dream of having in her class, in his or her class. Her eagerness to learn is contagious. No matter how difficult the task or assignment, she continues to try and, and will not give up until it is complete. Her no quit attitude motivated other students to try harder. Jarenedi's motivation enables her to tutor her three-year-old nephew, and she aspires one day to become a teacher. Very commendable. Her family plays a major role in her education and continues to praise her for her job well done, for a job well done. Jarnetti's demeanor and appearance is impeccable. She is very humble, kind, and is considered to be a humanitarian. Teachers describe Jarnetti as being well-disciplined, concentrates on her work, is very kind, lovable, and caring to, and her actions uh, prove her to be a silent leader. Through her diligent work, dedication, sense of teamwork, and pleasant demeanor, Jarenedi Villavicencio is most deserving of the Roberto Clemente Award. The Board of Education and the Superintendent of Schools congratulate Jarenedi Villavicencio for her earned this award. He says, the Rochester City School District Hispanic Heritage Month Celebration, Roberta Clemente Student Award, presented to Gerenedi Villavicencio, school number eight, October 19, 2006. It's an honor for me to have been chosen to re chosen to receive the Roberto Clemente Award. It is a privilege since Roberto Clemente was a humanitarian, compassionate, and committed person. These characteristics guide me as well and make me feel proud and privileged to be a student at Roberto Clemente School number eight. May you all have a pleasant night. Muchas gracias. Let's give her another round of applause, please. Our next award recipient, Victor Santiago. Can you please come forward with your family? Brenda Pacheco Rivera, principal. I'm not sure if she's here. 
to receive the Volunteer Youth Award that will be presented by our Commissioner Malik Evans, Vice President. Good evening. Uh, it gives me a, a great honor to uh, present an award to a young man who in 16 years has done more than most people do in 50 or 60 years of life. Uh, Victor Santiago is 16 years old and a junior at School of the Arts, and he is a visual arts major. He has three brothers and one sister and two loving parents, um, so you can see that he comes from a very, very supportive family, which is always important. He is active in school, um, and among his activities, um, volleyball, JV, and varsity. He's a part of student government, the PRISM program, the Masterminds group, and assists teachers with their after-school classes. His volunteer work throughout the years is extensive. Victor has volunteered with the American Red Cross, Hispanic, Hispanic and Black Middle and Youth Leadership Development after school programs. He enjoys organizing informational meetings for parents and youth, helped to coordinate and recruited youth for a talent show to raise funds for victims um, that benefited from the um, American Red Cross. And also during that project, he helped with the yearbook for the 2005-2006 Hispanic Youth Leadership um, Development uh, students. The Generations Give Back program is another one of Victor's accomplishments where he collected over 1,050 canned foods for Mills on Wheels. All the uh, cans were part of a sculpture in the Brockport Arts Festival where the cans were donated to the um, Mills on Wheels organization. His tenacity to meet representatives from various stores, to donate canned, canned goods, walking door to door in the neighborhoods, and calling friends to encourage giving back brings joy to Victor. Victor also enjoys volunteering many hours at School of the Arts as a member of the Student Government Association. He partnered with the American Red Cross to collect money for Hurricane Katrina and tsunami relief victims. He helped to raise funds for school projects and enjoys assisting teachers with their after-school classes and groups. Uh, he also has volunteered at the Niagara Lazy Lake Camping Resort, working with children activities at the campground, utilizing his drawing and craft skills um, he also, through that, he, could, he, uh, he was able to construct magnificent pieces of, uh, help the kids uh, construct magnificent, magnificent pieces of arts from puzzles and chalk art. Victor is also concerned about making sure that his neighborhood is strong. Um, he believes that a clean neighborhood represents a sense of pride, and recently he organized his neighbors on Dell Street to clean the street and many of the lots with their friends. Victor assigns ta assigned tasks as he, assist as he also assisted. Not only did he assign them, he also assisted. You know, some people are good at giving directions, but they can't take them. He, he understands both. You need to see some grown-ups how to do that and, and help to clean up the neighborhood. He stated that we accomplished many tasks, and throughout the day, we had fun and got to know everyone a little bit better as ordinary people. What a great feeling in giving back. Victor Santiago, we want to congratulate you for all your hard work. And we're honored to present to you the Board of Education and the Superintendent of Schools Volunteer Youth Award. It reads, the Rochester City School District Hispanic Heritage Month Celebration Volunteer Youth Award presented to Victor Santiago School of the Arts, October 19, 2006. And they got a nice picture of you smiling there. So. <laughs> He's a little shy, but. When I found out I was going to receive this award during August by Angel Alicia, who works at the Red Cross, who's in charge of the HYLDP, I was shocked myself. And when he asked me to come in to do the bio, I was kind of nervous. I didn't know what to write into the bio. But today I was happy that I came. I had a volleyball game to assist, but I decided to come here. Um, I don't know. I feel happy that I got this award. and. I feel happy that I helped as many people as I could throughout this year. And, and well, thank you. <laughs> Check it out. Thank you. I don't know if that was a warning or someone's uh, cell phone. That, that, that's the drum roll. Oh, the drum roll, OK. The next recipient, Jose de Jesus, to receive the Academic Achievement Award. Jose, this is his fourth year receiving this award for having the highest academic GPA with the City School District from Wilson Commencement. Is the principal here? 
Staff, please come forward. Dr. Manny Rivera, our superintendent of the schools. Your parents, are your parents here? Family, come on forward, please. It is my privilege to recognize Jose de Jesus, who is here with me. I was looking through his bio, and he and I have two things in common. Jose loves to run. It's one of his favorite things. But his favorite book, I'll bet you'll never guess what it is. How many of you have ever read Cien Años de Soledad by Gabriel Garcia Marquez? It, I had to read it in college in Spanish. <laughs> and then, but once you read it, you can't put it down. I think I've read it two or three times. It is one of my favorite books, Jose. It's wild. You've got to read the book. Um, uh, Jose de Jesus is a 12th grader at Joseph C. Wilson Commencement Academy High School. This is his fourth year being recognized for his academic excellence in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month by the Rochester City School District Board of Education and Superintendent of Schools. His 4.50 GPA is a reflection of his diligent work as a student. Whew. His extracurriculum activities include XCAT's robotic team, which is part of the U.S. FIRST program. He has participated in the National Youth Leadership Forum of Technology. Jose has worked as a technical director in the computer lab. This past summer, he participated in the Mathematics, Engineering, and Science for Hispanic Students program at the U of R. He was the valedictorian for MESH 2005. He is currently attending the Science and Technology program at Monroe Community College. Outside of school, Jose enjoys bicycling, running, graphic designing, web designing, and writing. He enjoys mostly anything that has to do with computers, including playing remote control cars, playing with remote control cars. Jose is a poet who writes his own poems and poem stories. Quote, I believe I'm a great conversationalist with certain topics when certain topics arise, and I'm a very quick learner in subjects that I'm interested in, unquote, states Jose. Jose is the recipient of many awards that include Programming 2, American uh, Chemical Society Award, Health, Spanish 3, Who's Who Among American High School Students, National Honor Roll, National Spanish Honor Society, United States Achievement Academy, and Academic Excellence Award, among many more. His favorite book? is Cien Años de Soledad by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Jose would like to do a double major in college. He is interested in electrical engineering and software engineering with a specialization in microelectronic engineering. He is looking at possibly attending the U of R or RIT. We are honored to recognize Jose's diligent work in receiving the Academic Achievement Award presented by the Board of Education and the Superintendent of Schools Congratulations as you receive this award, Jose. I would like to thank every single person that I have ever come in contact with in my life. <laughs> because with every interaction, I have learned something new. And with every, every experience has added up to turn me into the person that you see before you today. I would like to also thank every single thing that has been an obstacle to me because it has made me realize that the path to self-betterment isn't easy. You have to work for it. I would also like to thank every single person that has ever given me support because without that, I don't necessarily think that I would always have the motivation to keep on achieving, to keep on succeeding. I would like to thank everyone and everything that has helped to put me where I am today.
Our next award recipient, Victoria McAction. I have a hard time, I'm sorry. Is she here? Victoria, can you please come forward to receive the Volunteer Education Award? St. John Fisher College. All the folks from St. John Fisher College, can you please come forward? I know that you are her family, because her family's not here from New York City. All your friends, come on forward, please. We'd like to have you to... It's not Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, the program... <laughs> The program has Cynthia Elliott's name on it, but she uh, uh, left it in my hands. So I, um, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Victoria McEachin, uh, growing up as the eldest child of three, I can relate, uh, Victoria learned that it is crucial to work hard to be successful in life. She has never forgotten about giving back to the community as she helps to pave the way for those who came, come after her. Born and raised in New York City, she pursued her dream to attend college and enrolled as a first generation student within the Higher Education Opportunity Program, HEOP, at St. John Fisher College. She had attained her Bachelor's of Arts degree in Communication Journalism in 2003 and completed a Master's of Science degree in Human Service Administration in May of 2006. It was during her time as an undergraduate student where she began her involvement with the Rochester City School District. Each year, Victoria volunteered through Fisher's Black Student Union, BSU, organization as they hosted an annual Halloween party for students at uh, Thomas Jefferson High School. Victoria would later work with the Jefferson students in her professional career through the Fisher-Jefferson Partnership Program that provides college preparation and academic assistance to students. Victoria has also participated with the St. John Fisher College Connection member Mentorship Program. She has had the opportunity to work with students of East High School who were enrolled in the former JASCO program Victoria remains a volunteer mentor and is currently mentoring a graduate of John Marshall High School. Victoria is a member of the Sigma Lambda Ladies, which, stands, or which means leadership, advancement, and development of our young sisters program and geared toward young women ages 14 to 18 that promotes sisterhood, cultural pride, academic excellence, and service to the community with an emphasis on college and career preparation. She presently works with the seniors of Charlotte High School and the School of the Arts. Victoria is a member of Sigma Lambda Epsilon Senoritas Latinas Unadas Sorority Incorporated, who conducted a benefits banquet to raise money and materials to support literacy at school number nine. The sorority was able to donate over $1,000 worth of books and funding. Through her work as an admissions counselor at St. John Fisher College, Victoria has had the opportunity to build a strong relationship with the Rochester City School District, working with students enrolled in PRISM, Hillside Work Scholarship Connection, Monroe Community College STEP Program, Upward Bound, and MESH, providing them with college preparatory information and financial aid assistance. Having a vested interest in the development and success of students within the district, Victoria has produced programming to expose students to higher education. For example, last year Victoria launched the Rochester School, uh, City School District Winter Open House Bus In Program, which provided junior and senior students as well as their parents and guardians with free transportation to participate in Fisher's February Open House Program. In addition, Victoria's involvement with the district, she has been a member of the, of the college's Martin Luther King Jr. Celebration Committee, College Diversity Advisory Board, and she sits on the board for Next Step Magazine, Latino Edition, which is a magazine that covers college and career planning and life skills for college-bound students. 
She has served on both the Rochester City School District Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month and Fisher's Day of Celebration planning committees. Recently, she has accepted, was accepted to participate in the Latino Leadership Development Program through the United Way of Greater Rochester and has been recognized as one of Rochester's emerging Latino leaders by Conexión. At the age of 24, Victoria exemplifies the true meaning of leadership. On behalf of the Rochester City School District, Board of Education, and the Superintendent of Schools, we congratulate you, Victoria McEachin, in receiving the Volunteer Education Award. The, the award reads Rochester City School District Hispanic Heritage Month Celebration Volunteer Education Award presented to Victoria A. McEachin, October 19, 2006. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, right? <laughs> that's the first thing I have to say. Um, first off, I just wanted to uh, thank Rosemary <laughs> Villarubio Izo for nominating me, first off. And I know Nidia Padilla has something to do with it as well. <laughs> so I really wanted to thank you um, for nominating me. I really appreciate it. It is a great honor to be here today. Um, to my family, adopted family, friends, colleagues, um, for your constant support. Um, you know, without you continuing to support me and motivate me, I don't know if I'd be here today. Um, to the city school district for giving me the opportunity to volunteer and help with the students because again, for me professionally and also personally, I definitely have a vested interest and it's my pleasure to participate in community service. And as a side note, Jose de Jesus, come talk to me afterwards, St. John Fisher application. <laughs> It's nice to see that you're all here to support her because I know she had mentioned that her family was all in New York City and it gets very lonely, but she knows that she has support. <laughs> Our next recipient, Eugenio Cotto Jr., can you please come forward with your family, your wife Maria, and anyone from the community who's worked with you to receive the Community Service Award presented by Commissioner Thomas Brennan. Eugenio Cotto, Jr. was born in Rochester, one of 12 siblings, migrant parents who, who worked in the U.S. He attended School 22 in Franklin. He moved to Puerto Rico where he graduated from Lino Padron Rivera High School, returned to Rochester in 1981, and with his wife Maria and their three children, they have lived for, for some 30 years on Wilkins Street. And like all of us, like many of us, he addressed the challenges and adversity that, that life sometimes directs our way and did so with courage and with success and emerged with a refreshed focus on his family and his community with wonderful results for us that, that will, will outlast him and all of us. In the 1990s, he participated in parent-teacher conferences at Marshall and Franklin High School in School 9. He served on the school-based planning team and also as a parent representative on the City School District Parent Council, where he was elected president in 1998. He was involved in the Xerox Partnership School Work Program at Franklin, and many planning committees to strategize and build relationships with parents and students. In 1994, he and others met with several youth groups and created a group called Youth for Tomorrow. The program operated out of a location called La Vida Center on North Clinton Avenue, and it was a safe haven for alcoholics and addicts and youth at risk. Um, Mr. Cotto also volunteered with a local church where he worked for years on a project that housed alcoholics, addicts, and judicial offenders in a, in a program called Casa Esperanzo. 
In 1995, he founded the Rochester Hispanic Youth Baseball League with its first games played in 1996, impacting thousands of youth. Dr. Rivera referred to his other tireless work in youth athletics. Um, I could, could go on all afternoon recounting his achievements. That would cause the meeting to start late, which Mr. Garcia wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want to have happen. But whether he is, is renovating athletic fields personally, working in bilingual education, uh, the Spanish, uh, Spanish action leadership, uh, neighbors building neighbors, the 14621 Community Association, Mayor Duffy's transition team, and most recently the Rochester Children's Zone, his commitment to this community and to this community's children is unsurpassed. And despite all of that achievement and all of that accomplishment, his greatest pride, is, as, as his friends know, is in his wife and his children and his belief in God. And, and Mr. Cotter, sir, congratulations as you receive the Board of Education and Superintendent of Schools Community Service Award. Thank you. Um, first of all, the thanks and the honor and the glory go to my God through the example of his son that he sent me to serve. Um, as he mentioned, Rochester Hispanic Youth Baseball League, that's basically what's gotten me here. And I believe that many of the participants, as well as their parents, I look at the participants first, the youth, as well as their parents, the coaches, the umpires, and everybody else who's made that program possible, is what has me up here today. There's a lot of changes that I've done in my life and there is something that I always talk about as I was listening to the youth today, the volunteer efforts of Victor and Jose saying that it doesn't get any easier. And as I think it's Janeldi, Janeri, Janeri, reminds me that I should write things down so that I could have a better perspective of what I want to say. I see this youth in action and these upcoming leaders, and I always remember this one specific thing is, in Spanish, I always say, tengo que dejar de ser mío para ser de los demás. That's what volunteerism is about. I have to stop being of myself to be for everybody else. It's a difficult thing to do because of our toils with life. Right now, many of us enjoying baseball in its final stages this year. But sometimes we think about those specific times where we're sitting and saying, am I doing enough? Am I doing what needs to be done to save our youth? The day that I was called and told that I was going to receive this award, 